hand. So learning is the uh, second thing. And finally, we have uh, inference part. And uh, here we basically ask questions uh, against that model and we uh, get some answers from the model that has been built. So representation part, we uh, have to understand the domain and uh, we have to uh, represent it in terms of graphs where uh, each nodes in the graph will be uh, in the format of a random variable and the entire graph we can represent it as a joint probability distribution of these all random variables right so this is first thing second thing is we wanted to learn something from the representation so for that we have to feed in data uh, uh, and uh, uh, run some algorithms to to learn something from the uh, graph uh, from the data so the the model that you have built will be learning something from the given data and finally we have inference algorithms to uh, uh, get answers based on the queries that we will uh, give against the model so this is the major three parts of the entire uh, pgm concept so we have seen some uh, basic elements of that and in this class we will be uh, looking uh, at more details uh, so in this class we will see the bayesian networks so uh, so in the uh, previous class we have seen what is uh, a, 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 a graph basically it is represented as a directed acyclic graph and uh, nodes uh, are actually represented by x1 x2 up to xn and and we have seen that each node in the graph represents a conditional probability distribution basically we start with the joint probability distribution of all these uh, variables all these variables and we actually uh, factor those uh, pro probability joint probability distribution into into uh, conditional probability distribution so you you have uh, seen this uh, equation where we uh, actually represent the joint probability distribution in terms of the uh, parents right so given a node xi given its parents Right. So a Bayesian network represents a joint distribution via the chain rule for the Bayesian networks. So uh, with chain with the help of chain rule, we can decompose the entire joint probability distribution in terms of the factors. And each factor will represent basically a marginal distribution or a, a conditional distribution right so this is the uh, thing that we have seen in the previous class so we will uh, see that a, a bayesian network is a, a legal distribution so basically uh, we know that we are dealing with a probability distribution each uh, variable in the graph is a random variable representing a probability distribution right so the, the basic rules of probability uh, as you as you know basic probabilities of uh, basic rules of probability the probability uh, the probability value uh, the, the p the p must be always uh, greater than or equal to zero right so this is uh, a, a, a basic uh, rule so this is basic rule of probability uh, p represents the probability distribution and uh, so this is probability values are always probability uh, is 
uh, always positive, right? So there is no point in uh, uh, dealing with or calling a negative kind of a probability, right? Uh, second thing is given a distribution, right? If I sum over that distribution, entire distribution, so sum over p is equal to one. So if you have a uh, probability distribution table that is given, right? So this, this must be always. Uh, so we we, we apply uh, a normalization normalization on on this uh, probability distribution so that we ensure that it is a legal distribution, a legal distribution, right? So these things are always applicable to any uh, uh, probability distributions that we talk about. So you 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 will be talking about uh, uh, the joined uh, probability distribution, then the marginal marginal probability distribution, and the conditional conditional probability distribution. So all these distributions you can uh, uh, for time being you can visualize visualize in in terms of a table where all the entries uh, must sum to one right so so that is the basic uh, uh, probability rule right uh, so uh, let us uh, so now uh, we have uh, uh, seen the uh, um, student network example so um, so we have seen this right so the entire so how many nodes are here so we have uh, one two three four five five nodes are here so so in in real case this network will be very large right the, the, very huge network but for for uh, understanding we will just uh, deal with a, a small example where we will uh, try to cover almost all the aspects related to the uh, Bayeshi network. So here uh, uh, we have, uh, I have described this uh, uh, graphical model as a student network where we have uh, uh, a, a student uh, uh, maybe uh, taking a course and uh, uh, he is uh, getting a grade uh, and the course uh, difficulty level is there and the student is associated with an intelligence level and uh, he is obtaining a letter basically from his uh, 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 faculty member and uh, uh, he is writing an exam a public kind of an exam and uh, he gets some score uh, uh, on that exam right so these are the uh, random variables associated with the uh, student network so we represent g as grade d as difficult and so on so, so uh, we will use this uh, uh, small toy example to understand uh, many details of the Bayesian network so let's uh, move on to uh, uh, the probability uh, distributions associated with the uh, each uh, random variables. So you can you can see that here the difficulty uh, random variable basically associated with the uh, binary uh, uh, variable. It's a binary value. So D can take two values. So D uh, is zero or D is one, right? So this this may represent the difficulty level associated with the this uh, course or the, the the course that student is taking. So what is the probability that the course is a uh, a difficult course or a easy course, right? So th th those uh, probability values are associated with the d zero and d one. So similarly, so what is the intelligence level of the uh, uh, student? So this is basically the prior beliefs of the uh, these random variables so difficulty level there is a prior uh, maybe distribution associated with the difficulty level uh, with respect to one course or 
so this table may change with respect to other courses right so this table may change or each student will have different uh, values here so so this is very important aspect um, and uh, you can see here grade basically we have represented is a conditional distribution so the, the, these these were actually uh, small uh, marginal type of uh, distributions and this is a conditional distribution right so given uh, so i0 d0 given uh, the values of g1 g2 or g3 right so this basically uh, so in 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 while dealing with uh, 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 probability so usually you will write something like this so um, probability of right um, so d let's say d is uh, conditioned on d0 right right so you you should understand when we write p of d basically it represents a table of values so what is the degree of freedom associated with d or how many values it can uh, take so based on that it will be a table so in in this case we have uh, uh, p of d as d0 and d1 right and associated numbers here 0.6 and 0.4 something like that right but what is this this is basically the difficulty level of the a, a course associated with the uh, uh, with with the value taken so this this will be a single value representing the probability uh, or or th this is not a table it's a single value that is uh, represented by this right so p of uh, d in this case will be 0.6 right because it is taking a value d0 right so similarly you have uh, um, uh, for example l uh, comma uh, so here uh, we have uh, um, intelligence and uh, right intelligence level and uh, the difficulty level uh, given some grade so so i'm 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 conditioning on the value represented by g0 right so uh, this will be a again uh, it will be a table right it, it represents a table of uh, uh, values right so uh, people may, may misinterpret if if we write something like this they will try to associate a single value with this uh, notation so that 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 is not correct basically when it takes some value so that then it is conditioned on that and you can represent it as a single value right so here also you you have a table value right this is a, a distribution basically right so this aspect you should uh, uh, take it uh, uh, correctly so so ca can you calculate this uh, so looking at the table uh, so what is this so can anybody tell whether this is a table or uh, it's a single value it's a single value sir yeah so what 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 will be the value so we can uh, generate that uh, structure we can probability mm. of d into probability of i mm. with respect to that values and the probability of g by d comma yeah. i into probability of s given by i into yeah. probability of l given by g no, so no given this is a joint probability ah yes right so after that we can the apply that values in that we can find out all the value hmm. so tell me the value here so 0 0.6 into 0 0.3 into 0 0.08 
into 0 0.8 into 0 0.4. So the time to calculate. So, so how did you obtain this? So that from the table, sir, uh, okay. probability of D not in the sense hmm. uh, 0 0.6 value from okay. the time. Okay. Next to probability of i in the sense from the intelligent i1. We, here we have already given that i1. Okay. Okay. Initialized the value means true value. Yeah. 0 0.3. Next yeah. into 0. Point, uh, probability of g by d, g given d, comma i. Means yeah. from this uh, grade table with okay. respect to uh, joint uh, in the joint probability distribution, okay. we can Fine. find out that i1 d naught means third one. Yeah. Okay. With respect to g3. Yeah. 0. So it will be just a multi multiplication, right? Yes. Multiplication of the uh, probability values associated with each condition on these, val these variables, right? Yes, sir. So this is very important. They are conditioned on. So basically, this you can uh, write it as P of uh, a capital D equal to D0, right? Comma i equal to i1 comma capital g equal to g3 comma capital s is equal to s1 comma right so this is how uh, 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 maybe a, a probability distribution is been interpreted so let's see uh, a, a joined distribution uh, uh, table uh, with respect to i comma d comma g right so probability values associated with that you can compute it from the previous diagram right uh, so uh, maybe ca can you try the first one so i have given this table so you can you can copy down this if you if you have a notebook with you just copy it down uh, i can wait for uh, maybe a, a time required to copy down so it's a good idea to uh, uh, maybe write and see how it works rather than just looking at the picture and uh, trying to assimilate. So, uh, is tower? Is it tower? Uh, I am done, sir. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so now you see this is the joined uh, distribution table of i comma d comma g, right? 
and uh, this table shows the entire uh, uh, values associated with the uh, the the uh, variables uh, or variables can take some values so all the all the values are been uh, represented here so i is a binary variable right so it can take two um, i0 and i1 right uh, difficulty is an, again a uh, binary variable it can take uh, two d0 and d1 a grade is a ternary variable so it can take three uh, values g1 g2 g3 and uh, uh, so what is the total number of uh, variables required to to uh, represent this entire joint distribution so can anyone answer this question how many variables are required to or this is called the entire configuration of the uh, joint distribution represented by i and d and g so how many configurations So I I is taking two, right? D is two, and uh, grade is three. So two into two into three. So this is twelve. But we already agreed that this is a. What is this? Some to one. This is a legal distribution, right? This is a legal distribution. So, if you, if you if I ask how many independent variables are required or configurations are required, it will be twelve minus one eleven, right? So to construct a general uh, uh, maybe p of x1 up to xn, and you assume that all the uh, assume that all the uh, variables can be represented in a binary format. So x1 can take x0 and x1, x2 can take x1 and x uh, x0 and x1, right? Like that. So how many? are required 2 to the power of n right and you you should understand that this is a huge uh, space right this is a large uh, maybe you cannot manage it right so when n, uh, this is an exponential kind of a distribution right uh, so the, the entire state space the state space is huge so that's why we are actually not so, so given a PGM or a, a graphical model, we are not actually interested in computing the joint explicitly. So, so there is no point in. Uh, so there is no point in in uh, explicitly explicitly computing computing the joint right because because the state space is uh, huge so you, you cannot handle uh, even computer cannot handle because uh, to to uh, represent uh, two to the power of n configurations in the memory uh, it's a huge task so so uh, we are not going to 
attempt that. So instead of that, what we are going to do, we are actually going to do uh, so the from the joint basically we are we are going to compute the factors right so all the p of uh, x i is given all the other uh, or maybe in the in the case of uh, uh, bayesian network you can write it as parents of uh, x i right so this this is basically a manageable uh, maybe uh, maybe you can you can you can so this 2 to the power of n will drill down to a a, a, a kind of a linear uh, distribution or, or the space will be a linear distribution uh, if if you if you so this basically we are trying to uh, maybe uh, utilize the structure of the graph so this is the very very uh, beautifully uh, described with with lot of examples uh, but uh, for time being just we see that uh, so from the exponential representation we are able to represent in terms of a linear representation uh, by utilizing the structure of the graph so structure of the graph so we will see how how this becomes a, a, a linear distribution. So that that we will see uh, with uh, small examples. Uh, but can anybody guess what will be the uh, space, the state space uh, represented by uh, the joint probability uh, distribution in terms of the factors? Anybody? Okay, maybe we'll uh, we'll see that. Uh, okay, now. Uh, let's let's try to understand basically what is the process that goes uh, when we say we want to uh, condition on uh, let's say uh, a parameter g1 so our goal is to find out p of capital i comma d given g1 Right. So, what will be this? Uh, so, by uh, looking at this uh, table, so I want to compute. So, this is uh, conditioning P e of I comma D given G one. Uh, so what is this uh, from the uh, table, this table? So can can anyone tell me what will be this? Uh, that we can we can generate that equation that probability of i not comma probability of i i not into probability of d not into probability of g one by given uh, d not comma i not. Hmm. But but this table is given, right? Uh, entire that, distribution is uh, at, at at your uh, maybe perusal, so, right? So from this, what will be the answer, or what will be the final answer without any computations, without doing anything, just looking at the table? Is it possible to tell?
anybody it's a multi variable joint distribution hmm? now in the previous discussion basically we have agreed that we have agreed that uh, uh this is a table right so something like this right right this is a table basically so what is this table so you you take only so you, you are conditioning on g1 means you are not interested in any other parameters associated with g capital g so you are not interested in this uh, maybe I, i cannot draw here that's the problem so you just uh, take this right the first uh, row and uh, second third we are not interested because it it deals with g2 and g3 then the uh, fourth one right seventh one right and uh, so wherever g1 comes you are interested in those values and the table will look like something like this right so i have deleted all the other values which are not concerned about uh probability of i comma d comma uh, sorry uh, probability of i comma d d given g1 so we are conditioning the joint probability distribution i comma d comma g with respect to g1 and this will be the table so any 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 problem with this table can you see some some problem with this table we filtered with only G, with respect to g1 only ah yeah but is it a distribution table Sir, total value is not equal to 1 yeah so what to do normalization so we we talked about normalization right so basically you have to normalize it so for normalization what we are doing is so basically we started with the entire joint probability distribution uh, p of i comma d comma g and then we conditioned on where g is equal to g1 right we eliminated all the other variables and we took only variables associated with g1 so now it is not a normalized variable so normalized table probability distribution so now you just sum it right all this and you divide each each of this uh, with the total then you get a normalized table for this distribution so so this 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 is the distribution table represented by i comma d comma uh, sorry i comma d given g1 right so this is uh, uh, we this is how we normalize it the normalize the joint distribution after uh, conditioning any any question so far Yeah, no, sir. We are good. Okay. Okay. Fine. So similarly, uh, marginalization, right? So marginalization is basically what? Uh, I I I I I don't care about the uh, column values associated with one uh, thing. So so basically, this this represents uh, marginalization of. Uh, probability distribution i comma d with respect to i right so uh, so this is uh, uh, this is uh, marginalization uh, uh, p of i Comma 
D, I'm going to marginalize. Uh, I'm going to marginalize uh, I. So this is the representation, right? I get P of uh, D. Marginalization. Okay. So now the table becomes what? So how will you do that? So you take D0 values represented uh, in this table. So these two D0 values, I take it uh, 0.282 plus 0.564 right so that becomes value for d0 and this is the probability uh, for that and the other one for d1 case so 0 0.02 and 0 0.134 right so this becomes the so this is the marginalized uh, table for d from the joint probability distribution P of I comma T, right? Okay, now we go back to our uh, uh, student Bayesian network and uh, we, have, we, we know that how we can write the joint distribution in terms of factors, right? So uh, by looking at this table or uh, so graph, right? You know. Uh, so so these are the uh, tables associated with the each uh, random variables. So this doesn't have any parent, right? So that directly you can write it as p of d. So this uh, thing then you can uh, take this this also doesn't have any parent so p of i now you have grade given its parents difficulty and intelligence so g given i comma d similarly p of s given i so this has only one parent right and p of i given g so so this one is this one right so now uh, you can apply whatever rules that we understood so far so whether it could be marginalization or conditioning etc etc right so can you prove can you prove uh, this is a valid distribution? So, how will you how how, how you can prove the student network uh, given by these five variables and uh, given this joint distribution? How can you prove that this is a valid distribution? Any any answers? Any answers? Uh, the sum of individual probabilities should be equal to one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we have to prove this. Uh, that 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 means sum of maybe you 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 have to take the sum of. marginals, right? marginals with respect to all the remaining variables all the variables right so what what 
what I want to prove basically, I want to prove uh, this uh, sum of, right? So we have a P given I comma D comma G comma uh, L comma S, right? So this I want to prove that it is a valid distribution. So I have to sum over all the i comma d comma g comma l comma s right so because i'm going to marginalize this entire thing with, with respect to all the variables in this joint distribution and i want to prove that this is what right so how will you start with So you have this, you have this P of uh, D, P of I, then this G given I D, then S given I, P given, uh, P of L given G, right? So how will you start with? So, Basically, this this notation is uh, sum of maybe so. I will write it like this: sum of uh, let's say uh, G, right? Then sum of I comma D comma L comma S probability of I comma D comma G comma L comma S, right? So this means G, maybe I, sum of D, sum of L, sum of S of this. Oh, sorry. Right? So this is the meaning of this. Now, looking at the uh, factors, Right. So let me take one factor. So P L given G. Right. So this is uh, uh, this equal to so this spot. This is equal to the factors. Right. So P uh, so P L given G. Right. L given G. So I can sum over it l right then uh, i can i can so i'm i'm writing in this way from this side right so what is the next factor p of uh, so basically uh, what i'm trying to do is i am pushing in the summations i am i'm pushing in the summations so you you can see here uh, so here the variables are L and G, right? So this depends on only summations of L and G, right? So whatever factors which appears uh, L and G uh, can, can be put together and you can take out all the other factors out right so for example if you if you are if you want to push in the sum for i so p of i is one way one uh, uh, variable where i comes and this one p of s given i so within the sum p of i and p of s i will come right so all the other things will be out so I will uh, uh, okay, uh, so let us uh, draw the graph first. 
so this is uh, difficulty intelligence this is grade this letter and this is sat score right so i have p of d comma i comma d comma s so i i wanted to sum over all the i comma g comma l comma s so this will be sum over uh, the the product of factors so i have p of d p of i p of g uh, given d comma i p of uh, l given g p of s given i right so now uh, so can i write the summation of s here because there is no other factors which involves some of uh, the variable s right so i can write up to here within the sum of uh, uh, d comma i comma g comma l and this guy i can up to here this is the sum and i can write sum of s p of s given i so this is my entire term entire term but i have pushed the sum with respect to s inside this and all the others will be here because there is no variable s coming in any of the factors here right and uh, what is this basically the marginalization of a variable with respect to s the probability distribution s given i so what will be this any guess uh, that is p of i right hmm? that is p of i right yeah so what what is the ultimate value Uh, one yeah because you have a uh, one uh, single uh, variable given and you are summing over it right so that will be one right because we have agreed that the probability distribution should sum to one right yes sir yes right so this actually you can see it as a table right where you are interested in taking the values corresponding to s given the i right right so the the marginalization part we have seen uh, in the previous slides right so here so here what we were doing we were actually taking the uh, i and d so p of i comma d summing over i right so it will be ending up the other, with the other variable but if you if you see that this this sum will be one right otherwise this will not be a valid distribution right you got it so this this you you there is no need to consider this again because this sums to one so what about the next one l you take the sum right you you keep this all this here you take this guy here sum of l right so what will be this this is again sum to 
one right yes so i now you take i so you have two terms here right you see here we haven't considered g because we are well inside this right so this summation and uh, this summation is pushed inside right so this this is uh, again valid for this since there is a g here this is valid but one, one, once we apply the marginalization for l this will become one right so similarly if you push in i so these two terms will be coming right right and finally you can see that every every terms will be finally uh, coming to summing to one so this is how we prove that this is a valid distribution any questions Uh, no sir i think from my side okay okay so uh um so i will uh, uh give you uh Uh, some uh, problem so that we can uh, make sure that we understood something uh, okay uh, we left one question uh, earlier uh, so i will i will just give you the answer but we will see uh, later uh, the, the uh, number of parameters so the, the total space right so a bayesian network a bayesian network uh, maybe with uh, with n nodes um each having uh, at most a number of parents uh, only require uh, n into 2 to the power of a plus one. So this will be the order of uh, 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 the space required for representing the entire. Uh, thing. So this is the, uh, this basically you can uh, consider it as a linear because maybe the the, the number of parents uh, may not be that much huge. Uh, uh, maybe. Uh, uh, so considering a graph a decent graph structure so this will be uh, may not be more than uh, three or maybe two or three right so it 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 goes from 2 to the power of n to this so so otherwise uh, for the joint distribution you need this but uh, uh, when you take the structure uh, because Bayesian networks uh, basically factorizes in terms of the uh, conditional uh, distributions uh, on its parent, given given their parents, we can uh, take this uh, uh, maybe uh, you, we can drill down to the number of uh, uh, configurations required to this. This will re we will revisit it again later, but uh, uh, just uh, uh, take the student network, right? So, uh, 
so so without uh, maybe for p of uh, uh, maybe uh, d comma i comma g comma l comma s so what is uh, this configuration or how many uh, parameters are required to represent this entire configuration you you try to calculate that and uh, in terms of the factors so you uh, consider the factors that we have just uh, written and in terms of those factors so what will be the uh, configuration space so this uh, maybe you can take it as an homework just calculate and uh, maybe tell me in the next class right so this is one thing and uh, another thing is uh, so uh, uh, let's consider uh, three uh, variables random variables x uh, x x uh, y and uh, z okay so write down the configure uh, or the joint distribution in terms of factors So this is uh, number one. Number two, so given x, maybe z, and y. So this one. So what is this? Number three. So. Uh, we have the other way. Um, so X and Y here. So can you write the uh, factors? Uh, of the joint probability distribution for these configurations. So this, this is called as a chain uh, structure. Right? So, so who will tell me this one factors probability of x into probability of y given x probability of x into probability of y given x y given x probability of z given by y probability of z given by y okay fine so what about next one who is going to tell me this one yes, it's probability of z into probability of uh, x given z into x, uh, probability of y given z. no this this one uh, Probability of Z. Yeah. Z X given Z, right? Z is the parent. Okay. And uh, Y given Z. Okay, we'll check it. Uh, what about this fellow? 
Some, somebody else? Uh, probably of X into mm. probably of Y into mm. uh, probably of Z given X comma Y. Okay. So uh, here we have to uh, understand one thing. So when we talk about the joint probability distribution, right? Joint is irrespective of uh, whether you are talking about uh, P of X comma Y comma Z or P Y comma X comma Z or P Z comma X comma Y, right? So this will be same, right? The joint between these three uh, variables or join among these three variables will be the same, right? But what you can say about this part, the, the factor part? Any, any, uh, Any ideas? Are they same or something different is different? That will be different, sir. A difference uh, in terms of what? The directions. Hmm? Direction to the node to Direct. one node. Direction. From one node to another node. No, no, uh, no, no, no. Direction, okay. Direction, uh, maybe we'll, we'll talk uh, about direction later. But in terms of factors, basically you are writing uh, the joint probability distribution in terms of factors, right? Product yes, of factors. Yes, sir. So are they same? Are, are those products are, uh, fact, product of factors are same or not? That's my question. The way in which we compute the, the left hand part right is somewhat different right the left hand part is same the joint probability distribution but the right hand part looks like maybe we are dealing with different kinds of factors right yes sir yes no no not the same factors right so uh, maybe uh, though direction has some something to do with uh, uh, Bayesian network, but uh, when we say, as I told you uh, earlier, maybe X and Y are connected, right? So this way or this way, right? So basically when the graph structure or, or, or in terms of probability distributions, basically we say that there is a influence from X to Y or Y to X. Right. So uh, both are actually uh, same. That means influence uh, can flow from X to Y direction or Y to X direction, right? Uh, so uh, maybe in the context of uh, uh, the, the posterior and the prior probabilities that we have uh, discussed, we all, all already agreed that after some observation, right? After some observation, we are going to update the probability values associated with that, right? So this updation can go from this side to this or this side to this, right? So basically, uh, we when we do inference, when we do inference, the inference can flow or you can, you can infer from bottom to top or top to bottom, 
right so irrespective of the arrows that that is been represented so while we are considering the probability distributions associated with the uh, variables we are only interested in uh, maybe after uh, seeing some observation uh, the probability distributions will vary right so probability values may change and uh, this this effect right so uh, maybe uh, the, the term is basically causality cause cause and effect cause and effect right so so this flow from cause to uh, effect or maybe uh, the, the cause might be apparent and effect might be uh, reflected at the children or even the the cause is done at the uh, 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 child and the effect will be uh, seen in the parent uh, so this direction basically uh, doesn't have any meaning when we say something about the change in probability distribution values with respect to the uh, uh, variables associated with the graph right so this is one thing i i just wanted to make it clear but as as you see here these factors are different basically so these factors actually we have written uh, in terms of the uh, given graph and in terms of the directions shown in the graph so based on the directions only we actually came up with these kind of configurations right but this direction doesn't tell you anything about maybe or it it won't restrict you okay since this uh, arrow is starting from z to x information will flow only from x to x so that is wrong even x can influence z so direction should not the the directionality of this uh, uh, edge should not mislead you right but while we are decomposing and writing uh, in terms of factors we are actually considering the directions but uh, when we are considering the cause and effect in terms of the uh, nodes uh, the direction actually doesn't uh, tell something uh, whether the information flow is from this end to this end or from this end to this end right it can it can flow through through both way right both way so that is that is the uh, message that I, I i wanted to tell you so can you can you compute now the number of uh, parameters or independent uh, parameters required in terms of factors so this this you can uh, do do as a homework and uh, just update me in the in the next class right um so uh, we will i think we will uh, uh, stop at this point um so i was just trying to give little bit details of the uh, Bayesian networks. So we have seen uh, the formal definition of the Bayesian network. Uh, so CPD basically uh, means conditional probability distribution. CPD is conditional probability distribution table. Right? So we have seen the uh, Bayesian uh, network is a legal distribution. And we have seen the details of uh, student network, uh, the tables associated with it, and how the joint distribution is done, conditioning is done, and uh, renormalization uh, after conditioning, and the marginalization we have seen. Right. Now, uh, one more thing: uh, can can you connect, or what is the connection between? the uh, uh, 
maybe uh, the factors factors in the graph and uh, maybe uh, let's say uh, uh, we have uh, two variables x and y right? x and y so if they are uh, not connected we can write p of x comma y as p of x multiplied by p of y right and if you have uh, a connection uh, maybe y so there is a connection or this way also so p of x y but now we we write p of x right and p of y given x right so these these two are different right these two are different uh, right but we haven't established a relationship between x and y yet right so this arrow shows maybe th th there there might be some influence from x to y or y to x but given the data this is this is our assumption basically so given some data so surprisingly you will see that these are not at all connected that means uh, maybe this part you will see uh, as p of x multiplied by p of y given x so given x uh, maybe uh, will drill down to uh, this structure so x y right so the, the, uh, now we say that p uh, x and y are independent right so uh, independency statements so so we can always connect the factors in the graph factors we have seen uh, at least with the student network we have seen how to write a joint distribution in terms of factors right and now next we are going to connect it with the independency statements given against the graph right so this is a simple graph with con consisting of two nodes right and uh, by looking at this i can say that th these are independent each other right independent each other so uh, so if they are independent i must be able to write the joint as p of x multiplied by p of y because they are independent right but here in this case uh, by looking at the factor i have uh, maybe concluded that the the factors of this joint distribution is something like p of x multiplied by p of y given x right given x so this is a conditional distribution and uh, maybe so uh, by observing x right so this, what, what is the meaning of this by observing x what is what happens to y right so if if i observe x right i i have seen that there is no change in y right so what does what does it mean if i observe even i observe x there is no change in y happening that means they are independent each other so so there is no influence from x to y or y to x happening right so in this case we can again say that these are uh, conditionally so so maybe the, this independence and the, this independence are different uh, maybe the, the, I should I need one more variable to, to tell that let's say p of x independent of y given some other variable so I need three variables to define something called conditional independence conditional independence uh, that means 
x and y are independent given another variable z so so this applies to p, uh, p of x comma y comma z so if you take joint distribution you can write in terms of factors and by looking at the factors basically you have observed that uh, given z x and y are uh, becoming independent or sometimes you will say uh, p of x uh, maybe with a slash y given z that means p of uh, x and y are not independent given z that means they 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 have a dependency they have a dependency between them so in this case also i can i can write it like this so uh, maybe p of x and uh, p of so look at this example p of x is independent of y given nothing right so there is no other variable associated with this graph. So they are independent, given nothing. Right? Uh, maybe uh, you can you can think about these three configurations and try to uh, find out can you arrive a kind of independency statements. Uh, based on these these three configurations so we will we will consider this uh, in the next class uh, in detail uh, and i will try to connect the uh, factors in the graph and the independency statements uh, 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 implied by the graph right so Basically, what we are trying to connect is the probability distributions and the structure of the graph. Right? So from the structure, we can tell something about the probability distributions associated with the graph. So first thing we have seen that the joint probability distribution, we can write it in terms of the factors. So that was the first lesson we have seen. And now, I'm, I'm again uh, uh, drilling down uh, by looking at the structure of the factors, right? Structure of the factors, I can tell something about the uh, uh, independencies or dependencies about the uh, variables associated in the graph. Right? So, so this is the next level that we, we will be uh, talking about. So I think I will uh, close now with your uh, attendance taken. Maybe I just the uh, Naji. Okay, Ramina. No, sir. She's absent, sir. Hasna? Present, sir. Hadia? Present, sir. Bipin? Present, sir. Bindu? Yes. Present, sir. Santosh? Yamana? Present, sir. Jitesh? Present, sir. Present, sir. Jaskara. Present, sir. Hindu. Present, sir. Nina. Present, sir. Vikas. Present, sir. Simi.
Kim is there? She message. Yes, sir. She's there. Her mic is broke. In chat. Okay. Yes, sir. Sanila. Present, sir. Divya. Present, sir. Present, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, thank you. Sorry for the initial glitches. Uh,